Joining me now is Sri Lanka's ambassador to the United Nations, Palita Kahona. Ambassador Kahona, thank you for being with us. Now, both sides in this have been accused of, of violating international law, but this latest report uh, claims that Sri Lankan security forces were responsible for a majority of these violations, including widespread torture, sexual violence and enforced disappearances. Can you give me your response to that? Uh, the, the report itself doesn't contain too much new from earlier similar reports. It looks as if the, this time uh, the report is much uh, more cleverly packaged, but certainly not uh, revealing anything that has not been discussed ad infinitum in the past. So, uh, and well, also it as it I make heard it sound as though earlier, that's, these are not serious charges. Uh, surely this is, you know, widespread torture, sexual violence, I mean, you, you, you can you can make charges charges of that nature against anybody, any military force anywhere in the world. But what is important is substantiable, substantiate, uh, to substantiate these charges. I don't think the report gets anywhere near substantiating the charges. And in fact, I can give you an example. Uh, the, the report deals with the question of child recruitment by the LTT. We've had reports of child recruitment by, the, uh, by Amnesty International, by UNICEF. Thousands of children were rec uh, recruited. But the report simply says much more evidence is required. But it is so ready to, to accept whatever evidence that is available against the security forces. Uh, okay. I think so the you, report you, So uh, if you think that there's a, a lack of evidence, um, why doesn't your government want to agree I, I, to an international I, 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 investigation I, 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 okay. into this? So, I mean, that, so that the facts can, you can be point cleared out, up? Uh, point out any of the other countries in the region or from outside the region, involved in the region, which have agreed to an investigation by an international body, to uh, endless uh, accusations against them. Why should Sri Lanka be the only country to agree to an international investigation? Okay, can I just Aren't put we to you an independent country capable yeah. of dealing with this on our own? Okay, can I just put to you one other uh, allegation that the report makes? It, for, it says for the first time the army, um, or it makes the allegation for the first time that the army uh, might have systematically destroyed mass graves to hide evidence. Is that something that you feel needs to be looked into, uh, whether I, it's I from the outside it, it, or from it, within it, the it, country? It, it, it amuses me that after four and a half years, something like that has some suddenly popped up just before the sessions of the Human Rights Council. Uh, one can go on making these allegations endlessly. And the answer to that is not an international investigation, but give, giving time and space to the Sri Lankan government to deal with, it, with, uh, with these issues on its own. We are a sovereign state and we have the capability to deal with these issues. Uh, in the meantime, the, the, the United States has said that it will probably sponsor a third uh, resolution uh, on human rights against uh, Sri Lanka. What's your response to that? Uh, it's a pity that the US has persisted uh, with this line because I don't think it's going to serve any purpose domestically other than hardening the attitudes of the hardliners. Uh, the hardliners will take uh, take a cue from this, these resolutions and will make it impossible uh, for the government to go ahead with the reconciliation processes. Okay, Palata Kahona, thank you very much indeed for talking to us, uh, Sri Lankan Ambassador to the UN there. Thank you.